Uh, here the coach Scott Bork after a 2-2 tie with Dartmouth. Coach, can we start just a comment on the game? I thought it was a hard-fought game. Um, you know, um, but we had a lot of chances we didn't finish. You know, that kind of has been a little bit of a bugaboo here in the last uh, month for us as we haven't finished our opportunities. And we certainly created a, a lot of them and uh, got a lot blocked and they goalie played pretty well. But uh, I was happy with our effort and I was happy with uh, our bounce back. That was a, you know, you give up a goal like that. I don't know how many shots they had in the third period, but there weren't many. And when you give up a goal like that, it can be a backbreaker. And I thought our team bounced back really well. What do you think of the way Mesmer played? So ever since he, he gets the goal, but also ever since he's been put in the lineup, it seems like he's kind of part of the role for himself. He has. You know, he's playing really hard. He's playing north. You know, I think that, and, and our team needs to learn from that too. You know, when we play north and we play hard, we take guys on with wide speed. We're, we can be a more offensive team. I think, um, you know, they back up a lot. So our guys side dragging pucks in the middle of the rink, but those pucks don't get through and those pucks end up getting transitioned. So, um, no, Mez is really doing a nice job of, of do, playing his way and doing it, and doing it heavy. It seems like the D's were pretty active too. I mean, even on that on, on his goal, like Vanell kind of carries the puck over, protects him on his backhand. I mean, uh, it just seemed like maybe more than usual tonight the D were able to kind of move their bodies around as much as the box and created some chances. Yeah, and I think they were. I think our D were getting frustrated because the shot lanes were being covered so well. But one of the problems was we were going to the net so hard that there was a lot of times there were six people in that front, so we actually blocked a bunch of those <laughs> shots too. Uh, so I think our D were just trying to find lanes, but they were aggressive, and you know we have um, obviously some veterans there who can really play offense, and so we want to let them do that, and hopefully continue to um, you know create chances for us that way. You just mentioned they had 21 shot blocks. They did a good job getting in the lanes. Was it more so their style of play, or do you think it was maybe looking too much for that better opportunity instead of maybe trying to get pucks through? Uh, I thought we tried to get them through. I thought they did a really good job, and they packed it in so much so. It's not like they're covering you high in the zone. They're really just covering your shot lane. Uh, and that's why our guys move so much, but that's also why um, we get so many shots blocked. They just have a lot of guys in the way. What have you seen from Alex? Obviously, he had a great game last week, and we set some number of goal tonight. Did you like him in that combination? Just what have you seen from him? Well, I think he's using his speed. You know, I thought he was going to score for sure there at the end of the game. Um, but he's using his outside speed, and he's using his body to protect pucks. And, I think he's getting more and more confident, and I think you know, his 200-foot uh, game is still developing. And it, uh, when he plays as hard as he is right now without the puck, he's going to have the puck a lot, uh, and that's a really good thing. I know this game was scheduled a while ago. What was it like to look across the ice and not see Coach Kovac? Uh, it was kind of funny because he and I were the ones who scheduled it, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, uh, he just he was here in the building, yeah. which was nice. Um, but they, you know, they, they're a building group, and I think they do a great job, and they get a lot of characteristics that they have with Bobby. You know, they play really hard, and that's exactly how he wanted to play too. So uh, the game, I think, was pretty similar, mm -hmm. pretty similar. Except he didn't get to screw the goalie up, you know, with coaching him, so the kid made a lot of saves. <laughs> that first line with Drev, Newton, and uh, Jendrick, they seem to be playing well together. Have you liked what they've, what they've brought to the table over the last couple of weeks, a little bit more chemistry building? They have a they have a good uh, they have good chemistry. The hard thing for that that group was that they in this game you got to play really heavy and big and um, you know none of them really have that you know size. And so we, we moved some other guys on there to try to give those guys some space, uh, get Newt some more space and Stevie some more space. I thought we did that when we put Alex there, but uh, we you know we're we're a work in progress. But I like the direction we're going in for sure.